Hello, and thank you for watching Teaching PowerPoint. Okay, so we're going to be looking at a timer today. So when I press the start button, you can slowly see that the green is turning to pink. And after a minute, it will indicate that the time is up. This is a really good way for you to add timers to PowerPoints. Because alternatively, the way that I do it is you have to minimize the viewing screen and then go onto the internet or find the computer's timer to do this. And this is as a slideshow option showing you that you can have a timer on the PowerPoint. Now the question that we've got up is um, a BODMAS question that I've done with the children previously and the, it, it will indicate to the children when their minute is up. So we're just watching now as the green slowly turns to pink you can make timers that are 5 minutes, 10 minutes and so forth so that's really up to you minute is over and that shows it to the children so this is how you create the timer it's a really easy way to do it, you basically need just a few objects, so you go to shape I've got an oblong shape here I then insert another shape I don't know where I'm going. Insert another shape, which is a rectangle shape. Slightly smaller than your oblong, this has to be. A slightly narrower work, because that's the bit that's going to go in the middle. You need exactly this again. So I'm going to copy and paste exactly the same length and the same width. And then the fourth shape that you're going to use is the oval shape. And those are the four shapes that you will have. You need to edit text in there, write start just going to now increase the font, change the font into a easier font to read and change the font size as well. That's too big to make it a little bit smaller and that's it. Now just change the colouring, change that to orange, add an effect, do the bevel effect, the same with the start. I'll keep the colour and then I'll go to shape effects and bevel effect as well just to make it a little bit more 3D now. I'm going to layer these on and change one of the colours to pink. So the layers should be in the right order, orange, then blue, then pink, and it needs to be in that specific order. So you'll see the blue changing to pink. Now I'm going to add an animation to the pink, I'm going to add wipe effect. Go to the animation pan the pane and you will see you want it coming from the left. Go to the timers, you want it to last 60 seconds and the trigger that will start the effect will be the oval start button. Press OK. So now that's the basic effects done. So the start tool will start the timer. Now we just need an indication that the time is up. So time is up. Exclamation mark. Highlight that. I'm just going to move it so the text is tight and add the animation for that to occur after the timer so add an animation I'm just going to go to extra more entrance effects, I'm going to go to an exciting one, spiral in and move it after the oblong effect and start after previous, that's important that it starts after the previous, so that one is one minute and then that one comes after that. I'm going to copy all of that and move it to the slide that I need it to be on, which is this slide. And again, just play around with it until you've got it exactly where you want it. Now I've noticed that my green text isn't showing up on my green background, so I'm going to change that colour to something that will stick out, probably red. Put that in the middle, and that is it. That's my timer done on a slideshow. When I F5 this, it will play as a slideshow and my timer will come up. Thank you for watching. Bye.